What up everybody, welcome back to Pro Publications YouTube channel. As always on this channel we talk about uh, zines, a uh, publishing company, and basically your own kind of craft business, any kind of business really, you know, you want to make t-shirts and shit like that, you want to fucking make buttons, stickers, all that shit, we do that shit on this channel because as you might know, I have a little company called Furrow Publication, which is a printing company, and we make merch and shit too. Um, if you're interested in that, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, thank you for coming back. Thank you for watching the video. Today, I am screen printing, which is something that I love to do. I hella enjoy screen printing. Um, but like I was mentioning yesterday, just because of the photo emotion style, which is the only style I've ever done. You know, I know that there's vinyl cutting styles and things like that, but I always, every time I saw that, it looked just so basic. And what ended up happening was I got a creek cut, and the creek cut really does translate the art pretty well. I'm not gonna lie, although it's easier to uh, do the vinyl cutting style, it's not without its own difficulties, such as the peeling back of the transfer tape. It takes a little bit of time. Um, there are a little few maneuvers that you have to get used to. And, you know, you really got to take your time. Like, that's not something you could actually hurry up. Especially some of the items that I had, like the eyes that had the very fine points. Very, very difficult. At that, I actually ended up ripping one of the eyes in half on the first vinyl. So I had to remake it. But think about that. I messed up the screen today in the morning and I remade the screen and I had enough time to print, to screen print that same day. That's not something you can do with Photo Emotion. Photo Emotion takes longer. Anytime I got my screens ready, that was in a, in of itself one day process. If after I burned the image and I, and I cleaned it up, if I didn't like how that screen looked, there, there is no fixing it that same day. You would have to just clean it all off and then try again the next day. Once again, once I would burn the print onto the onto the screen and clean it off, that in itself was one day. I wouldn't be able to screen print until the third day. That's how I was doing it. Just because I wanted to make sure that the screen was actually dry. You know what I mean? With this, like I said, like I messed up the screen in the morning. I remade that screen within an hour and two hours later, I was already printing. And the only reason why I didn't do it right away was because I had lunch. The next graphic that's going to go on the front of the shirt, it's a little more complicated, but not very complicated, but more so uh, than this one was. And so, like I said, like I'm trying to stretch myself out. I'm trying to see what the limitations of this style are. And so I'm going to put that graphic on the front of these shirts tomorrow. That way, these six will be done. And then I will do the next graphic and same thing. Do three larges, three mediums. So this is where I work from, you guys. Had the screen here. This is where I was screen printing it. And I had all these papers here just to pick up the residue and, and other miscellaneous stuff. Put a trash bag over my comic uh, case. And this was it. And the reason why this works is because I was printing them here. I had the clothes hangers right down here. So I grabbed the clothes hanger once I was done. Put it on the shirt. Walk it over here. Yeah, suckers. So here they are right now. I just did six of them, uh, three mediums, three larges, and this is just the back uh, graphic because there's going to be another graphic to the front. So this would be the, I guess let me get one of these. So this would be the back of the shirt, right? And in the front, there'll be a different graphic. That's what it's looking like. Like it came out pretty damn fucking smooth, man. For anybody that needs a small or an extra large or an extra small, whatever it is, I will go out personally and buy those shirts for you. So don't worry. Um, if I don't have your size on stock, I will go out and get it for you guys. All right? All right, you guys. That's the zine that we published. That's Feral Comics issue number seven, the most recent one, issue number eight, dropping soon. If you're interested in the zines that we publish, if you're interested in the shirt or the buttons or any of the other stuff that we drop, stickers and so on and so forth, uh, go ahead and check our big cartel shop. That link will be in the show notes. And beyond that, man, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. See you guys tomorrow.